Emetophobia. Kiss this frog or we'll bury you in the swamp. Amy held Noel tightly by her hair as Kylie raised a soggy, tired-looking frog up to her face. Do it, the girls demanded, snickering and snorting. Noel sighed and reluctantly pressed her lips against the frog. It felt like wet, slimy oatmeal. What a lousy first kiss, Noel thought. Amy and Kylie squealed with delight and ran off. Noel wiped her mouth, collected her muddy textbooks, made sure not to cry, and headed home. The next morning, Noel felt sick. She ran for the bathroom but tripped over something. She looked down to see green webbed toes. Noelle opened her mouth to scream, but a long pink tongue shot out instead, breaking her lamp. Her mother rushed in and, upon seeing a frog, Noelle, on the floor, quickly shooed her out with a broom. Noelle dove into her brother Eric's backpack and ended up hitching a ride to school. At lunch, Eric reached for a ham sandwich with mustard, but pulled out a plain frog instead. The lunchroom went wild. Noelle hopped through a sea of grabbing hands and stomping feet out of the cafeteria behind the school and back to the swamp where it all began. Noelle sat muddy and sad until she heard familiar giggling. Do it, Amy! Kylie picked up Noelle and shoved her in Amy's face. Amy gave the frog a reluctant kiss. Then the girls ran off, amused and disgusted, respectively. You're such a jerk, Kylie, whined Amy. Suddenly, Noelle could feel her fingers again, and her toes, and her hair, and she realized she was no longer a frog. Noelle breathed a deep sigh of relief, which was soon replaced by a sneaky smile upon realizing what Amy would be going through the next day.